I get over I'm so easily My anxiety creeps inside me Makes it hard to breathe What's come over me Feels like I'm somebody else Hello guys. This is the Orange Hokage here, and today we are doing, What if Naruto was neglected by his family part 7. So now let's get right into the story. One week later the week went by quite fast for the remaining 10 competitors. years. For team 7, there were only Naruto, Sasuke and Naruko that advanced. Sakura didn't, so Kakashi trained with Sasuke while Jiraiya trained with Naruko and Skushina was bit busy in helping with the exam preparations. Minato asked Naruto, seeing that he didn't have someone to train him, if he would accept him to help in training, but was refused saying he would train alone. Flashback Naruto was on his way to the Hokage's office. He was told by the Anbu that the Hokage required his presence. Honestly, he didn't know why he was being called into the office, but he didn't like being in his presence, so decided to finish it up real quick. Once he entered the office, he saw his family, along with Jiraiya and Tsunade. He looked at them with a bored expression and sighed. This was definitely going to be a long day. Hokage-sama, I was told you summoned me. He asked. Ah, yes. As you know the Chunin exams are in a week and all the remaining Jinin have teachers and so it ha come to my attention that you don't. That's why I asked Jiraiya to help you in this week. Yeah Gaki, you'll even be able to sign a contract with the Toads. He wanted to also repair his relationship with Naruto, so giving him a contract like his sister was the best way. Isn't that great Sochi, you get have a summoning. Gashina exclaimed. Ignoring all of them, he turned to Tsunade and smiled. She went to him and hugged him. It's nice to see you again brat. I see you still have that cursed necklace. She smiled at him. Hey I like this cursed necklace. I never take it off and it's nice to see you too Tsunade sama. The others just looked at them in shock. What was going on? Hey, you guys actually have a good relationship? Jiraiya said. Don't lump me in with you people. I might not be in this village most of the time, but I did give him that necklace as a birthday present. Unlike you people, I don't do favorism. She said proudly. Anyways, I don't want your help Jiraiya-san, nor do I want your summoning. Tell me why would I want a contract weaker than the one I already have? He said in monotone. This got a chuckle from Tsunade. The others were just wide-eyed at his refusal. W what do you mean? There are no creatures that are stronger than the toads except the... OMG? Which of the two do you have? More importantly when and who gave you the contract? He exclaimed. Now this got the others confused. What exactly was he talking about? You'll see what creature I have in the exams. And for who gave me, my sister did. She gave me during my first birthday party, when I was turned six. If that is all, then can I please leave now? I want to go prepare. Nisan, if I give you back the title of clan heir, would you come back to our family? Please. Naruko begged. All she wanted was her brother back. Why was the universe so unfair? Yeah. You'll become the heir again. I admit that it was a mistake on our side. We didn't train you so there was no way you could have been strong. Please, we'll do anything for you to come back. Gushina pleaded, along with her husband. No, we already had this discussion before and I don't want to be clan heir, not anymore. And you points to Naruko we made a deal that if I won during the academy exam then you'll leave me alone. Are you trying to tell me that you're a liar? Now if that is all I'll be leaving, turns to Tsunade if you're going to be staying here for a while, you're welcome to stay at my house. I'm on my way there now. Oh, I didn't know you live alone now. Is it a great place? I want my state to be comfortable. She said jokingly. Actually, my sister and I live together, but she's going on a mission sometime today. I think you'll like her and for the house, let's just say that it's the greatest house in the entire village to the point that the council kept bothering her to show them in. We have plenty of room. He said as they walked towards the door. Wait. Can't you at least give me a hint to who you're contracted with? Jiraiya pleaded. He just had to know. It was killing him inside. Serene Ashin. Was all he said and then walked out the door. End of flashback so since then, 
Act Zunaid and Assistant Shazun were living with both Naruto and Miley and they hit it off immediately. They liked each other and were quite comfortable in each other's company. They were shocked when they first came to the house as it was the most beautiful thing they had ever seen, and felt happy that they were the few people to actually see it. He was originally going to be trained by his sis but she had to go on an urgent mission. But she promised to be there for his match. So with the help of a few pointers from Kuruma, he was set not like anyone was going to beat him anyways. He was happy. He was finally going to show all his strength not enough to kill thought. He also managed to change his name to Uzumaki legally. The competitors were all in a secluded area. There were a total of four cages excluding Iwa. Welcome everyone to the Chonin exams. I would like to congratulate once again the Jinin that have passed the preliminaries and good luck. The Hokage said and then sat back down in the cage booth. Genma, the protractor came into the arena and called out the first match. Nejai Hayuga vs Hinata Hayuga they both came into the arena and were in their stances. You should just give up Hinata. You don't want to be humiliated. You're pathetic and weak and shouldn't even be heiress. He mocked. Hayashi just smirked. He knew that Hinata was weak and completely agreed with Nejai. He was going to make Hanabi heiress after she lost to Nejai. His wife saw this and also smirked. Prove them wrong Hinata. I know you can. Hanabi was just laughing. Her father just looked at her and was curious when she said, Nejai is in big trouble. Back in the arena, the protractor yelled, Begin! And then backed away. Nejai began to attack and Hinata went on the offensive, but hit the ground with one of his attacks. Protractor end this match. I don't want to damage the precious Hyuga heiress he said with venom. He definitely hated the main family. Hinata someone called out from the audience. They turned to see and soon enough saw Miley sitting on the edge of the rail with a piece of cake. She looked at the girl in the arena and smiled, did you forget? It the Chonin exams. Remember? With a face of realization of what she said, Hinata stood back up and the once timid and shy girl looked confident and had a smirk on her face. Nejai, you disappoint me. You think being a prodigy everything goes your way. Well let me tell you this. You might think that I'm praised and loved by my father, but I'm just a mere disgusting how you get to him who doesn't deserve to live. She then disappeared out of sight and appeared right in front of him, shocking everyone to the point how she even stood up, eyes widened. She then began her attack and completely defeated him. At the end of the match, there lay Nejai, although he was defeated, he wasn't all of that badly injured. He looked up at her face and to his shock she looked at him with remorse. She kneeled down beside him and as she began healing him, she said, I know why you hate the main branch, and I know that if I told you that I'm sorry you won't accept it. But what I told you earlier is true. My father thinks I'm not fit to be clan heir and wants to give it to my younger sister. But we made a deal, a promise to one another and I want you to also be a part of our plan. What are you talking about? You just beat me, so why wouldn't he see you fit? What is this plan SHH? Not so loud. I don't like the way our clan dolls with things. A branch family, really? We're all Hyuga meaning we're all family, so why should one side of the family be treated as slaves and the others as royalty? We want to change that. I'm not strong enough right now to challenge my father looks at her if she is crazy but when I am, I'm going to make him regret everything he did. Right now, I didn't really want to beat you. But for you to help, I needed a way to reach you. So please, will you help me? She looked at him with pleading eyes as she just finished healing him. He didn't know what to say. He was beyond happy. But something still bothered him, what about the seals? Do you know how to remove them? Not quite yet. I'm still in the process of learning, but I'm almost finished learning. So are you in? He nodded and then was taken away by the medical nin. Miley began cheering like a mad person saying that the Hyuga just got served. And once Hinata reached the secluded area of the competitors, she was met with stares of fear and respect and kiss from Naruto. The next match was went underway. Shikamaru vs Temari, match was like anime, the next match however got some people on the edge of their seat. Mako, Sao Naruto Uzumaki they both went to the arena and took to their fighting stances. 
You ready to lose little boy cuz I'm going all the way. The sound nin said. Yeah yeah, whatever. Let's just start. He looked at the protractor. Right and, begin. He yelled and then stepped away. Cage box the Hokage from the other villagers looked at the match that was about to begin. It looks like your son is about to start his battle Hokage. I hope he gives us a nice show. The Keizakaj said. I heard that he was able to take down his opponent in a single move during the preliminaries. You must have taught him well. The Mizukaj, May, said. They then heard a slight chuckle, and there they saw the one and only Raz al Ghul, sitting on the ledge. The cage's bodyguards took their positions, but were dismissed by the Hokage. Why are you here Raz? Why I came to see my son fight of course. Now this got the other cages looking at him with confused looks. Your son? Who is he exactly? The Rikage asked. Why is fighting right now, look. They look and still see the Hokage's son, nope. If you call a parent some who completely neglects their child for their other to the point that you let the idiotic villagers have their way with him, then yes that is a respectable parent. They all looked at the Hokage with shocked eyes. I tried to apologize, I did me not to start it. Oh please. If my daughter didn't save him that night you know very well what was going to happen. Forget this, just pay attention to the match. It started. Back to the arena Mako started to charge at Naruto with her fist but he dodged it along with all the other attacks that she tried to hit him with, why don't you just stay still and die, and to everyone's shock, he summons a machine gun and points it right at him. This brings a shock of gasps towards the audience, they don't hate him anymore since he is the Hokage's son, since it's known that you can't dodge a bullet. Do you really think that I'm scared of your little toy? Don't push your luck. He looked at him with a lazy eye. Naruto, run away, she's going to kill you. Naruto forfeit before it's too late. These were heard throughout the audience. But one voice stood above all, Oi, Naruto. Show that sloppy pipsqueak who you are. This voice no doubtly belonged to Miley. Are you out of your mind? My son can't win against Gushina began. Glares do you have so little faith in your son? You people really do disgust me. She then turned back to the arena. Bang 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 this what was heard throughout the area and it went deathly silent and then gasps were heard. There standing in the middle of the arena, was Naruto and in between his fingers were the four bullets that were shot. Everyone's eyes bugged out, except those who knew, and stared at him in disbelief. W what are you? You just caught them. You're supposed to be dead. Mako yelled, but was visibly shaken. Oh. So you wanted to kill me. Why don't I show you how it's done? He disappeared from his sight and then appeared right in front of him. Do you want to know the most simplest way to kill goes behind his back it's to snap one's neck, snap was then heard. There lied the sound nin, dead, with a twisted neck. W winner by death, Naruto Uzumaki. The protractor yelled. There were no cheers, no applauds, no boos, just a deathly silence. Naruto just casually walked back up to where the other Jinin were and stood there. He got a little nod from his father, Roz, and a happy cheer from his sis. Hinata walked up to him and gave him a hug and congratulated him. Other than that, everyone just stared at him with fear. And Nisan, why did you kill the Nin? Don't you feel bad, or any remorse? Naruto asked. Before next match started and gathered enough courage. Everyone was waiting for his response. That wasn't my first kill, so no and if you can't kill then there is no point of you to becoming a ninja. This is what we do. Then focused on the next match that was underway. This got him a nod of pride from the ninja and clan heads as there was someone who finally understood what being a ninja was. So that's it for today guys. If you like this story and want more then please subscribe and turn on the bell icon until then take care and goodbye.